Welcome back. It's time for Imagine It. Sloan is here from the Imagination Station. What are we doing here, Sloan? <laughs> We're combining a little history with our science today. Okay. Um, back in like the late 1800s, they discovered that there was a correlation between the um, amount of alcohol in your breath and the amount of alcohol in your blood. Um, it's about 2,000 times more in your blood than what you're breathing out. Okay. Um, but scientists started thinking, hey, we can figure out how drunk people are without actually giving them a blood test. Okay. And this kind of sat on the back burner for about 50 years. And then when Prohibition ended and everyone started going out, partying, whooping it up, they had this incredible rise in traffic accidents. Uh -huh. They said, all right, well, we need to figure something out. Hence, the drunk so meter. Am I taking a breathalyzer? You are. We're going to test Slow to see. Slow to come back in a couple of hours, actually. And, uh, <laughs> it is only 9.30 in the morning. Uh, okay, so, okay. You know. I should be good. I promise I'll, I'll be clean. <laughs> and this definitely looks like kind of a 1930s contraption here. Okay. I want you to take off the uh, sanitize for your protection end there and just start blowing through. Nice and steady. Perfect. And check out. We can see the solution's kind of blue right now. It'll take about 20 to 30 seconds, probably. Dave's blowing through here. Now, in the 1930s, they used to pass, you're doing great, you have good lungs, good strong lungs, um, pass the uh, breath through uh, potassium permanganate, ooh, just had to change a little bit there, and um, some sulfuric acid, and then actu actually capture the volume of air at the end and then measure the ratio. Um, but we might have a problem here because you're changing color. I, I've been framed, <laughs> I've been absolutely framed. If the bosses are watching, and, and we should say to all the producers and the viewers at home <laughs> yes. that um, all this indicates is that you're alive. Okay. Because <laughs> Which our viewers are probably wondering <laughs> on some mornings. This early in the morning, I, I actually was more likely to be drunk than dead. Than you alive, are alive. Okay. What, what we did was we put some universal indicator in there. And okay. so when you breathe out, you breathe out carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide went in there. Exactly. And as it passes through that solution, it turns into carbonic acid, an acid that changes in our solution. So just to prove that you are not intoxicated, and we Please did not do, bring the drunk because the rumor mill is probably flying on Facebook I know. right now. Okay. We're going to take some dry ice here, All right. which is solid carbon dioxide. Gotcha. We'll put it in the same solution, the same indicator that we had in your drunk meter there. Okay, and this should hopefully... Confirm Hopefully we'll get the same result. Let's see here. That carbon dioxide made it yellow. Yep, and it starts off as this really pretty blue. And the cool thing about dry ice is it sublimates, right? It changes directly from a uh -huh. solid into a gas. It's releasing that carbon dioxide. You can kind of see it's starting to get that yellow color. We should get a little orange. There and we red. go. So I was as drunk as the dry ice. So we were both sober. You're both sober today. Okay. Good. <laughs> good. Let's talk about Hubble here. Last weekend for this? Yeah, this is the last weekend for Hubble. And we're actually, we're not usually open on Mondays, but we're open this Monday for MLK Day. Um, so come on down and check out Hubble. It's really an amazing exhibit. Last chance to see it before it leaves town. Great. Thank you so much, Sloan, Christina. I'm clean. We're going to test you next <laughs> week. That looks like a giant beer. <laughs> it, it looks like the urine sample now, unfortunately. <laughs> Thanks, Dave.